Hey guys, this is Pokemon Volt White 2, video number 25. In the last video we uh, did the Pokemon World Tournament thing, and I wanted to wait uh, to leave that building because I knew this happened outside. What? That was a Team Plasma guy. Stop. There's no reason for you to stick your neck into something so dangerous. Or maybe it is it. Oh, Sharon's got his back. Hmm. Yeah, because Team Plasma sucks, just like you do, Chorus. Of course we can take Team Plasma. What kind of question is that? Can they really think they can, you know, stand up because just because they have Pokemon with them? Well, yeah. It's Team Plasma. If it was like a group of gym leaders, then, you know, maybe not, but it's freaking, you know, Team pl Plasma. And remember, they suck. Ooh, Team 79 Frost Breath. Not bad at all. That's a pretty good move. Hmm, well, let's go on this here ship. Oh, look, here's my homeboys. Hugh and Sharon. I don't know, because it's wintertime? Or actually, in the game, it's autumn, but in real... Well, yeah, in real life, it's autumn, too. It's still technically autumn, even though, like, it's, like, snowing in, like, places. It's not snowing here, it's just really cold. And when I say it's really cold, I mean it's, like, 55, but... <laughs> but, you know, for here, where I live, 55 is might as well be, like, freezing. Oh, my God. Oh, he's about to unleash his rage. You, we all know what happens when Hugh unleash, unleashes his rage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just love it when Hugh unleashes his rage. He's just like, oh, I'm going to unleash my rage. Oh, but I'll unleash my rage, I guess, on this here Watchog. Or at least let Bon Scott unleash his rage on the Watchog. He used a Thunderbolt, which didn't, or Thunder Punch, which didn't do crap. But now that he's paralyzed, maybe I can be like Electro Ball, since it's really slow now, and maybe that'll like finish it off. It sure did. Look at that. The Watch Hog fainted. And Bon Scott gained all the experience, and this is to level 40, finally. Bon Scott, it, you know, take forever to get to level 40. I mean, freaking Nessie and Janicean and Kingsford, they're all way ahead of you, Bon Scott, so. You've got some catching up to do. I want to get you to at least level 42, you know? Because that's, I think, where Nessie and, and Janice Ian both are. Zangu's protected itself with the protect. <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, thunder Punch, and that'll be two Thunder Punches on the Zangu's. Revenge does... Okay, I'm still in the green. That's good. Alright, and that is a... Yeah, how about that? I just kicked your... you know what. Next, next, hurry up already! Actually, it's Scolipede time, or something he just said about Scolipede. I wonder if he actually even has a Scolipede. I notice it more so... oh, he does have a Scolipede, okay. I notice it more so in Pokemon Bloody Platinum than in, in other games, but like when Trainer said, Oh, I'm gonna, you know, take you down with, you know, this Pokemon, then they don't even like have that Pokemon. like, what was it? Was it was it Bloody Platinum or Storm Silver? One of those? Uh, I came up to this guy and he's like, oh, look at my Pikachus! And he had like six Pokemon and not one of them was a Pikachu. At least this guy still has a Scolipede. I'm just saying. Oh, and he's paralyzed so he can't move, so maybe I'll do like Electro Ball. Even though I know Thunder Punch can take it out. Just for a little change of stuff do the whole Electro Ball thing. Next is Snow Runt. Let's see. It's a male Snow Runt. So it won't evolve into Frost Lass, it'll evolve into Glalie. Do the female Snow Runts... Do, can they evolve into Glalie, or can they just evolve into Frost Lass? 
I mean, I know only the female, like, I know the females, like, the male Snow Runs can't evolve into Frostlass, but Frostlass has a Gen 4 Pokemon, and Snow Runt and Glalie are both Gen 3. So I'm trying to figure out, can a female Snow Runt evolve into Glalie? I don't know. I'll have to, uh, look into that. Or I'm sure, I'm sure you guys, you guys are pretty good at telling me these things. So that's my question for you. Can a female Snow Runt evolve into Glalie? My guess would be yes, since, you know, it's a it's Frostlass didn't come around until Gen 4 and Snow Runt was around in Gen 3. But anyway, while I'm, you know, trying to guess, Bon Scott's just leveling up. Level 41 now, Bon Scott. Oh, we defeated Team Plasma Grunt. He's like, Plasma, Plasma. And I'm like, LCD, LCD. Um, let's see. This is a piece of cake. Go back up, Sharon. All right, I'll come over and back up, Sharon. There's two against one now. Yeah, I'll battle with Sharon. I'll battle with the gym leader. Yeah. Challenged by Team Plasma Grunt and Team Plasma Grunt. Oh, that's weird. They have the same name. Oh, uh, they sent out Metang and Sneasel. All right, Stoutland and Bon Scott, a formidable team. That's crazy. His style in the Pokemon World Tournament, like, one video ago was at level 25, and now it's at level 38. I mean, how does that work? Like, because I've basically been with Charon the whole time since then. Like, how the hell did he level up his style in 13 levels? And yes, guys, I know, they take the levels down to 25, and that, I know, guys, okay? I'm just saying, like, you know, in the game, you know, it doesn't really make sense. But then again, nothing in this game makes sense, so why the hell am I even, like, talking about that. And yeah, they just took out Bon Scott. So that doesn't make sense. Here's Kingsford. Kingsford can be like, ooh, fire flame charge. Fire flame charge. Yeah, that's right. Stoutland uses wild charge on Sneasel. And that's the dead Sneasel. Alright, flame charge on the Matang. Good job, Kingsford. Sweet niblets. Looks like Kingsford might get up to level 42 in this battle. Oh, uh, look at this. Muck and Magneton. Come on, one more. Aw, oh, you couldn't give me one more? That's too bad. What is that? Is that a citrus berry? Oh, look at that! He's got a citrus berry. Magneton is going to use Mirror Shot. You know, I could just use Earthquake right now and probably knock out Magneton and Muck, but I'd probably knock out Stoutland too, and I don't want to do that to Stoutland. I and mean, I don't want to knock out Charon's Pokemon. Because Charon's my homeboy. Anyway, Flame Charge to finish off the Mug, apparently. I think that was a misclick. I think I I think I accidentally clicked on Mug by mistake. I, I meant to click on Magneton. But anyway, uh, Stoutland uses Crunch, and even though it's not very effective, it still knocks out the Magneton, so that's, that's good. And Kingsford is at level 42, just like I predicted, even though that was a pretty easy prediction. Flame Charge, and yeah, that'll be it for Muck. And now that Kingsford's all fast, there's no more Pokemon to battle. We defeated Blue Grunt and Grunt. Yeah, 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 I'll go help out Hugh. But I don't wanna... What a bother. You know? What a bother. Let's see, let's give uh, Kings for an antidote, maybe heal Bon Scott. There we go, now Bon Scott can like take part in the 
in the wallopings that are ready to follow or something. Lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> You're still on with that purloin, huh? You Alright, so Crocorock oh god. Crocorock and Garbodor, and I decided to send out freaking Bon Scott. I hope this thing doesn't use like freaking earthquake on me or dig or something. Time to find out how fast Garbodor is, though. Okay, he, he's not as slow as I figured. Hopefully that knocks out the Croc Rock. Yeah, it did. That way I don't have to deal with Croc Rock trying to use, like, Earthquake on me. Garbodor goes for Sludge Bomb. Next is Victory Bell. That's not good. Oh wow, Samurai has Air Slash. That's 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 pretty handy. If I do say so myself. Razor Leaf will hit both of us. Critical hit on Bon Scott. Uh, bon Scott, one more Thunder Punch from Bon Scott, and that should be it for Garbodor. I should just use two Thunder Punches from the get go, as opposed to trying to do it with Electro Ball. So I guess that's just me being dumb. Victory Bell fainted! Da -da 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 -da. Okay, next is Weezing! Oh, and some Viper, too. Okay, then. Um, let's see how fast these are. Weezing, are you fast? Well, I guess you're not that fast. Critical hit. Good job, Bon Scott. Samurott's uh, air slash missed. Oh my, what? I guess that makes sense. I get the feeling Mighty Yana is a little bit faster than the Weezing, so I'm just gonna go with the Thunder Punch on this one. Oh, uh, Megahorn. Oh wow, nice, Samurott. Dang, Samurott, you've got one hell of a moveset on you. If I, you got the freaking the razor shell and the air slash and the mega horn I mean that's pretty that's pretty good and now it's asking if I want a move to be deleted and replaced with screech but I think I'm going to keep my move set the way it is for now because his move set right now is a thunder punch thunder wave electro ball and light screen and right now I like him having those moves even though I think reflect would be a little bit better than light screen just because of the, the Pokemon that I tend to fight and the moves that they tend to have. Okay, Semarok fainted, and Hugh is going to go into Vibrava now. That's nice. It's nice to be able to, like, when your Semarok faints, go into a Vibrava. It's nice to be able to do that, and Hugh can do it. Hugh is trying to, you know, this is his goal. Okay, and, and this is different from most of, of your rivals that you have. Um, you know, most of your rivals that you, you have in these, in, these, uh, in, in these games have the same goal as you do, to become the strongest trainer. That was uh, Blue from the, dude, the from Thing, uh, Gen 2, you had, you know, that mean kid, I called him stupid in my LP, Geo Jr. Um... In uh, in in uh, Gen three, you had May, and I think that I don't think her goal was to become the trainer. I think her goal was just to like do research on Pokemon, and then in uh, uh, God, my mind is just going completely blank. Oh, well, the Shadow Triad just like took us all away. Oh, but in Gen 4, then you had uh, Barry. 
and I think you know his goal was also to become the strongest trainer. Hugh's goal is to basically get rid of the evil organization, and usually the evil organization is just kind of like you know a side thing for these characters. But Hugh's main goal in becoming a Pokemon trainer is to defeat Team Plasma. So which is which is different than uh, you know like I said most of the uh, rival characters that they have in these games. Which is kind of cool, you know. I, I I think it's nice that, you know, for once, you know, your rival isn't kind of, you know, competing with you to become the. The uh, the champ, you know, he has his own, you know, goals that he's going after, and his his are a little bit more personal than mine. You know, mine is just you know kind of like, oh, I want to be the champ because I want to be the best trainer. His is, I want to be the best trainer so that I can take down Team Plasma because they stole my sister's purloin. So. Hugh, Hugh is uh, uh, becoming one of probably maybe my favorite of the in-game rivals, just because he's uh, his uh, quest is just a little bit more personal than uh, really any other character in in these games. But anyway, uh, that was it for the Pokemon World Tournament and Team Plasma. And like I said a couple of videos ago, we never explored this hotel, so I'm just going to go up here and, and make sure that I d don't like miss anything. Uh, make sure there's no one up here who will give me, like, a, I don't know, a shiny stone or something. Which would have come in really handy for the, excuse me, for the um, clay battle. That would be funny if one of these guys had a shiny stone. Or like a dragon scale. God! I just all of a sudden got the hiccups. Uh, let's get, let's go to the 23rd floor now and see. Okay, see here it's like another penthouse. Ooh, and there's a pan pour in the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, an Everstone. Okay, well that wouldn't help me any. I don't see myself giving that to anyone because I'm ready for my pokes to evolve. So we got Stunfisk right here, pan pour, Stunfisk. <clears throat> Like I said, there's a pan pour in the bathroom. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could like say that for real? Like, like don't go into the bathroom. Why not? Because there's a pan pour in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a Pokemon that knows Thief. Those of you who have played uh, Spirit Gold, which is another Drano hack that I have played. Uh, you know that Thief is a pretty uh, important move in that game as far as like getting all the important items. <coughs> Sorry about that, that kind of snuck up on me. I used to like to cover up my microphone when I cough, but I didn't get around to it. Anyway, uh, here's Norman. And uh, for those of you who don't know or forgot, Norman is one of the Hoenn gym leaders. He's a normal type trainer. So he sends out a Vigoroth, a level 37 Vigoroth. I'll send in Kingsford. I have my fighting type up front so that I can take on these normal type Pokemon. Vigoroth uses Earthquake, which is a good move to use against Kingsford because of the it being super effective, like it says. Ooh, a critical hit. Alright, just two more. Just two more, Kingsford. Just two more. Or, wow, it took more than two. Okay. It hit four times, so that's that's pretty good. That's what I needed, apparently. Okay, next he's gonna send in Slay King, which is is pretty um Slay yeah, Slay King is pretty pretty legit. I know one of you guys who's been watching my uh videos is a really big fan of Slay King. Blair, yeah. I I decided that if I ever do use a Slay King, I am going to nickname it Blair, just after, because he, he's just always talking about how awesome Slay King is. And that's pretty uh, legit right there. Um, yeah, almost took down Bon Scott in one hit. Um, get the Paralyzed, the Electro Ball, okay. Slay King has to recharge, but... The leftovers get him back up into the green so that another Electro Ball won't finish him off, which kind of sucks. So, Bon Scott's probably going to fall to this Slay King. He uses Giga Impact again, which will take down Bon Scott, but the good thing is, is he has to recharge, so I basically get a free turn. 
so I can restore a little HP using its leftovers. And now I'll send in Janicean. And we can get Janicean to outspeed this thing easily. Pedal Dance, that'll take it out. Alright. Took down the Slay King. And Janicean's at level 42. Alright, next Norman is going to send out Linoon, which is the evolved form of Zigzagoon. He's I always kinda thought of Zigzagoon as the Rattata of of uh Gen 3. But anyway, um, I'm gonna send Kingsford back in now to take on the Linoon because I know Kingsford can just be like arm thrust and stuff. Linoon decides to go for the belly drum, which will uh lower his HP but raise his attack all the way up. So that was kind of a stupid move on his part since I mean he can't he can't withstand two arm thrusts from me. If it was against like a non-fighting type Pokemon, I might could see that, you know, move working out. But the fact that it wasn't, it's just kind of stupid lining, and I'm not gonna lie. Okay, anyway, next he is going to send out a Kecleon, so I'll stick with Kingsford. I don't know if Arm Thrust can knock it out. I'm going to take advantage of Kecleon's. I probably could have knocked it out with an Arm Thrust, but I just feel like having a little bit of fun with this Kecleon. I'm going to use Flame Charge and make Kecleon change into a Fire type. And Kecleon's going to use Thunder Wave now, which sucks. <clears throat> but now I can have Kingsford use Earthquake and have it say, Ooh, it's super effective! Because Kecleon's a Fire type now. See what I did there? Oh, Aqua Tail. That's interesting, Kecleon. That's very interesting. Anyway, here's Earthquake. It's super effective. Hey, how about that? And Kingsford is at level 43. Which, oh, and he wants to learn Flamethrower now. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to have him learn Flamethrower just yet. Um, maybe later. Um, King Kingsford has higher attack than he has special attack. E but with even yeah flamethrower has such a high base power though that it would probably still do more damage than flame charge but I, like i said i like flame charge a lot and i really like kingsford's um move set right now he's got the flame charge um earthquake arm thrust and uh roll out and uh, maybe just maybe i can get him to learn like close combat at some point anyway uh this is going to be it so next video we'll run back to Nimbasa and battle Flannery and continue on.